Assume you invest in a deposit of rupees 10,000 at the beginning of each year for the next three years in an account paying 12% per annum compounded annually. How much will you have in the account at the end of the third year? Now, you need to keep in mind that we are making installments for three years. We are depositing 10,000 at the beginning of every year for three years, paying 12% per annum. What you should keep in mind is the future value annuity formula. Okay, and why future value annuity? Because we are making a deposit every year for a certain number of years and not a one-time deposit. Okay, so it's going to be equal to the amount that we are depositing open bracket 1 plus r raised to the power of n minus 1 upon r now substituting for the data that we have over here we have 10000 open bracket 1 plus 12 percent okay and remember 12 percent means 12 upon 100 which in decimal terms is 0 0.12 and if you're confused as to how to do it you're allowed a simple calculator okay so if i simply take 12 and divide by 100 i get 0 0.12 alternatively the trick is you look at the number of zeros in the denominator so there are two zeros the decimal point will shift two steps to the left and therefore you have your point over here and we end up with this either way 0 0.12 raised to the power of 3 years minus 1 upon 0 0.12 now to do this on a simple calculator most calculators that you will be using in your exam will have this shortcut 1 plus 0 0.12 1 plus 0 0.12 gives me 1.12. 1.12 into 1.12 gives me 1.12 to the, to the power 2. I simply have to press the equal to button one more time to get it to the power 3. If you want to use the longer 10 do into 1.12, I leave it up to you. Anyway, I have this number. Okay, so we have 1.404 9. Let's keep it at that. 1.4049. So, if you really want to take the long cut, you can say it is equal to 10,000. Open bracket. And one more time. Let's put this here. 1. 1.4049. minus 1 upon 0 0.12 and so I'm going to do minus 1 is equal to this divided by 0 0.12 which gives us 3.3744 so 10,000 into 3.3744 and because we are multiplying this with 10,000, we are actually going to miss the uh, decimal places ahead. Normally, when we have a rupee answer, up to two decimal places would be preferable. So I think now is a good time to show you how to do this entire calculation on the calculator. Simply show, simply show this substitution once and then directly get the answer. All right, so how do we do that? 1.12 into 1.12. This is square, this is cube. Minus 1 gives us this, divided by 0.12 gives us this. Okay, and thankfully there was nothing left which um, we could have actually missed out on. So no problem, into 10,000 which gives us 33,744. Okay, so final answer, 33,744. But 
when we are calculating future value annuity, it is assuming that investment is made, investment made at the end of the year. In this question, they are saying it is done at the beginning. Because they are saying it is done at the beginning, that doesn't change the fact that it is happening every year for three years. But it matures at the end of a year. That means this answer that we have will continue in a deposit which will continue to pay us 12% per annum and we want to know how much is the amount at the end. Okay, so this is a combination sum of future value annuity and future value. So we know the formula for future value is equal to present value open bracket 1 plus r raised to the power of n which is equal to 33,744 okay into 1 plus 0 0.12 or 1.12 and I already have that on the calculator into into 1.12 okay and for those who are weak in maths thankfully there's a calculator and it's okay simply add these two up on the calculator you're going to get 1.12 and by multiplying 33,744 into 1.12 I will get the final answer which is 37,793.28 I hope this has been useful. Please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Thank you.